poor man stacking. I just wanted to share with you some of my very first silver that I ever acquired. When I was 10, I went to India and I had a silver snake ring that wrapped up my finger. It was so cool. I think it's somewhere in a field somewhere out here and maybe one day I'll find it with my metal detectors. Anyway, this first ring that I wanted to show you, I acquired this ring in about 1993 when I was about 13 years old. It used to be much looser on my fingers. It kind of fits now, but it's still pretty loose. I mean, you want a ring that like has a difficulty going over your finger. Anyway, I acquired this when I was about 13, and my mom got most of these rings. It says 925. My mom got me this, and then about three years later, my mom got me this in about 96, 1996. And it's also marked somewhere, but the mark has worn out. So remember, not all marks will be visible. So you may have a silver and it's not marked, but the mark was once there and it's worn out. So you have to look out for that. And this last ring was my sister's. Sadly, she passed away in 1997, and I acquired this in about 1998. Um, I'm going to get it repaired. It was probably cut off her finger because her fingers were swollen. Sad story, but it's a nice ring, and I'll get it repaired and probably wear it the rest of my life. So, anyway, these are the rings. A ring should fit like this. This ring fits perfectly over this finger. It's difficult to get off, but it's not too tight. So that's the way a ring should fit, and those are the rings that I've had most of my life. I wish I could get the ring back that I got in India, the snake ring. I love that ring. So, thank you everybody for watching.